I haven't got the right hinges here and this is not even stainless steel but they have some in my local hardware store here around the corner all right let's go hey good how are you 36 so. 80 thank you thank you very much $36.80 Donation link is under the video <laughs> All right, first of all, welcome back to the off grid garage here in sunny, warm winter Australia We've got like 25 degrees today. It is crazy warm outside. I mean, look at this I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt in winter, right? All right, let me walk you through the setup. We are going to use our normal solar rail system, but we're putting it upside down. Usually this side is up and this is where the clamps go in for mounting down, for clamping down the solar panels. But I've turned this one around now to have this flat area on the top, because this is the area where I want to mount the, um, the hinges. Like this, you know. And we are just using the normal solar mounting feet. They are still fitting into the rail and we can screw them down, slide the rail in and have our hinges here mounted one side on the rail, the other side on the solar panel. That looks good. And then they also come with um, stainless steel screws here. Yeah. Okay, so before we go back on the roof and change this mount for this one single panel, I've got my safety shirt already on. I want to show you something really cool. Two very incredible people have made a donation to the channel here in a very special way. You may remember, a while back we have installed an active balancer in the QSO battery and I placed the balancer on a piece of bubble wrap inside the battery. And in this video I was asking if someone would be able to print me, to 3D print me a holder, a plate, a mount for these active balancers. And I want to quickly show you what people have come up with. So this is the active balancer 16S which we have put into the QSO battery and it didn't have a holder. Ta-da! But now it has. Look at this! Isn't that cool? And Tommy from Norway was so very kind to print, 3D print these mounts for me and it actually screws plus, hang on, plus, plus some more screws which we can use to mount this holder inside the battery. That is fantastic work, very high quality 3D print, amazing. Tommy has also uploaded these files to 3D print these mounts for the 16S version of the Active Balancer to a website which I will link down below. Then you can download this file and print this yourself. It is a perfect mount. Look at this, the precision is just incredible. Don't know what QLY means, but it looks good. It's a good logo and very sturdy, very, very high quality of a 3D print. Thank you very much, Tommy from Linkdal in Norway. Thanks. I also like this color. And I have received another package from the other side of the world. This is coming from Cameron in Ottawa, Canada. Look at this packaging alone. Wow. No way. Oh. That is a very different design and he put four, five in the box. Five of them. There's a lot of material. Very high quality here. He has put his initials in here and the date when he printed them. Cable ties as well, screws to mount the actual balancer and also rubber feet. What? I mean, he bought them in an electronic store. I mean, how generous is that? Let's see if we can put the balancer on here. All the holes are lining up perfectly. Look at this. Huh? What a mount. It's, um, it's a very different design. But hey, each of these very beautiful people have come up with their own design and printed me 
two and five of these mounts for these active balancers. So we can put them in all our batteries now and don't have to worry about any insulation issues anymore. I, I totally offered to pay for the material and the shipping as well, but now both of them sent this all for free. They donated not only the time, but also the material and also the shipping costs. Plus all these parts, I mean, screws and, and even feet in here, mind blowing. So thank you very much to Cameron and Tommy for these very, very generous donations. Thanks a lot. Well done. Plus two free zipper bags. <laughs> okay, let's go on the roof. All right, we are now back on the roof. So this panel is still in full sun while the solar farm is uh, in full shading conditions down there. I'm up here for about five minutes now and haven't done any work. I just looked at the shading situation and the mounting possibilities we have. It's, it's not that easy. I mean, if I start with a panel up here and lay it flat until the edge of the roof, basically. Where do I start? Where do I start with these four panels to mount them here on the roof? At the front or at the back? Because, because now we still have a lot of sun actually in the afternoon here, but look at this shading here. Look at this shading. Yeah, if I go a bit higher on the roof, look at this. This is, there's the roof corner. This takes half the roof. And if we mount them horizontally, which we will do, and put them really towards the sun now, I don't think we have a smaller shadow than this. <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's let's test it out. Let's see what we have, what we get in these conditions, how long the shadow is, and then we can make a plan where to mount these panels. I I really think we have to go even further to the front here. I also thought maybe mount them over here and then tilt them up, you know, on this angle. But in this part of the roof, there is some um, shading in the morning here, so I really can't win. <laughs> All right, so I have now mounted the bottom rail, used some existing holes here in the roof. I need to cover up these other two, of course, then. And um, I've got this rail mounted now, and we can start with the, um, well, turning this panel around, put it on here, drill the holes for the hinges. So, and under the frame we already have four mounting holes, one there, there, there and over there. So, and I've got four hinges. Um, shall, I, shall I use one of them? But I need to drill another hole for a second screw here in the frame. And then we've got two other screws in the rail as well. That, that should be sufficient, right? Verdammte Scheiße. Ach, shit, ey. Ach, das glaube ich nicht. I broke the, um, I broke the bit. It's an Allen key bit. And it's the only one I have in this size. Like in the good old days, with an Allen key. Three hinges. I have actually drilled this one in the middle here. I'm not using four of them. They are so heavy duty ones here. I mean, this is like two and a half millimeter stainless steel. Really, 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 really robust. <laughs> Hopefully. So I'm not going, wow, look at this shadow. It is like 12 meters long. <laughs> no way to avoid this. Okay, I don't want to put the um, solar panel in the middle of the rail. I want to push it as far up as possible to this side. So I can still walk over here to clean the gutter and everything else. Okay, I drilled these two test holes here just for the sake of uh, drilling a hole in aluminium. And I use these ones here for real now. So I drilled um, two more holes now and then I realized that the nut is not going in far enough. That's because of the structure of this profile here. 
So I need to come further this way, but I can't because because this aluminium foot here is too long. So I have cut one down already, which is a bit shorter, which is flush with the aluminium profile. But I have to take everything apart again to replace this one foot. It's close to sunset. I haven't got the right, I haven't got the correct stainless steel screws. So I'm taking these um, sink ones just as a temporary measure. So I have um, temporarily screwed down the hinge in the middle here and now we have to align the panel so it has the same distance on the left and on the right. Guys, it will be dark in 15 minutes. <laughs> I have to hurry up. <laughs> I tip this stupid bucket over with all the screws and nuts and washers. <laughs> Come on. Oh, was ein Scheiß hier. Jetzt, jetzt mach. Okay, I had to, I had to get some longer screws. The ones I had were, were too short. This is now the fourth time I went back to the garage to get some more material. Okay. And these screws will only be a temporary setup anyway. There's nothing more permanent than a temporary screw. <laughs> ah, beauty. Oh, is it too long? Really? No, it's not. <laughs> I was just going to say it is too long. <laughs> All right, I think we are... Quick, Andy! Hurry up! Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, it's done. Oh, wow, I can't believe it's done. We are done. Sun has already set 10 minutes ago. Be able... How good is that? Amazing. As you may can see from there, this is a lot higher than this one actually. If we put it on a steep angle like this, we will have a lot more shading than with this construction. But we will see tomorrow. Oh wow, that is great. All right guys, we are done. We are just done before it gets too dark here. Horizontal mount, three hinges, and tomorrow we do the big angle and shadow test here on the roof. I may have to push this one a little bit further this way, or I have to start with one over there, second one, third one, fourth one, tomorrow. As always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your great support here. To all these beautiful people out there donating money to the channel. So I can buy a beer from time to time to oil my voice. And until tomorrow morning, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. Oh, I want to show you something. Shh. Yeah, there's one. Ah. See all these birds? They are sitting in this V-shaped palm front, and we think these are all the young birds because <laughs> they are just too lazy. Look at this. They are just sitting in there like in a nest and can't fall out. See there? There's one. There's one. There's one. It's good. It supports them from both sides and they can just relax and sit in there. And then when the sun goes down, they are fighting for the best spots. This one has already one. It's relaxing. It's sitting down, it's lying down. <laughs> Lazy birds. All right. See you tomorrow morning. I should clean up my tools a bit. They're expecting only three degrees tomorrow morning. It'll be cold, even for the birds.